Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me today for another Twilight Zone video in my Twilight Zone review series where I rank every episode of the original Twilight Zone from my least favorite to my favorite. Today I'm going to be talking about number 111 on the list, The Fugitive, written by Charles Beaumont and directed by Richard L. Baer. This is a season 3 episode and as always there will be episode spoilers. So, The Fugitive is an interesting episode for the most part, in my opinion. It's quite strange in some ways as well. While I think a lot of uh, Twilight Zone episodes are timeless, I do think this one is a bit dated, uh, certain elements of it, but overall I still think it's a pretty decent episode. So, this one's about a, a young girl named Jenny, and she uh, is friends with an elderly gentleman uh, named Ben, who's hiding from some, some mysterious men, as we find out as the episode goes, because he is actually an alien. Now, as far as the acting goes, Su Susan Gordon is fine as Jenny. It's an okay performance. And J. Pat O'Malley, a veteran character actor, is pretty good as Ben as well. Um, the episode uh, has got kind of a strange plot, and we find out more and more as the episode goes on. And it's kind of interesting. Um, you can tell this little girl, um, Jenny, is going through kind of a rough time. She has a brace on her leg. She also lives with an aunt who is kind of a bit of a crab. The aunt is kind of an interesting character, but we don't really learn that much about her. There are some interesting scenes, though. There's a scene where uh, Jenny tells Ben that some men are after him, and he turns into a mouse, showing us he can uh, turn into other living things. There's also a scene where uh, Ben heals Jenny's leg, because uh, as I mentioned, she wears a leg brace, but this uh, makes the two men that have been following him even more suspicious of him, and they kind of find out where he is. Uh, at one point, Jenny even becomes sick, and Ben heals her again, leading us kind of um, to the end of the episode. So eventually what we learn is that Ben is a king of another planet, but he got tired of leading, so he just kind of left. I guess he wanted to experience something different. Uh, and when these two men that have been following him basically uh, practically beg him to come back, um, he agrees to, but they say he can't uh, take Jenny with him. So they come up with this plan where Ben transforms into another Jenny, and they don't know who's really Jenny and who's really Ben. And it's kind of clever, but it's also <laughs> kind of strange. So both wind up going back to this planet. And an even more bizarre twist, if that's not strange enough, uh, it turns out that in Ben's true form, he's really a young man and that eventually someday Jenny will become his queen when she gets older now. You know, there have been a lot of different opinions on the ending of this episode. I'll let you form your own opinion, but um, it's just kind of a strange ending and I don't know that the second part of the twist was uh, really needed, but... Um, you know, like I said, I'll let you decide for yourself. One question I always had about this episode, though, is why does Ben hide as an elderly gentleman to begin with? Wouldn't he blend in better if he just posed as a child or a younger person anyway? I mean, he kind of really sticks out in the form that he chooses to take. So, like I said, this is kind of a strange episode, but it has a lot of interesting moments. And it's paced pretty well, but it's still kind of an uh, average episode for me. Probably on the upper end of average and that's why it's number 111 on the list. Feel free to leave me some comments on The Fugitive, whether you like it or not. I know this one kind of gets a mixed reception in the Twilight Zone community. And as always, thanks for watching.